Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at Lego minifigures. There's 18 Lego minifigures in this series, and the series is uh, 713. This Lego set series is 71038. This is Disney 100. We are looking at one character today, and I think his name is Dr. Philosopher. His name is Dr. Face Healer. I, I, it's hard. <laughs> or the Shadow Man. I. I, I have not seen the Princess and the Frog, um, so I don't I don't even know how to pronounce his name. So, uh, yes, I butchered it. Yes, if you're at this point, you're like, God, he said it wrong. Of course I did. I do not know how to pronounce it. I apologize. So all we're doing here is looking at the character, and then that's all I'm going to say about it because I have no... I have no, no... Like, I can't... I have no skin in the game. I have no idea what what his character's abilities are. I have no idea anything about him. So we're just going to look at the piece and ask ourselves, would we want more, right? So let's do it. It does give you two of these. You get one in his hand, and then you get another one. They do give you two, all right? So typically you do get, like, the little items that they have on the sides. You might get two, all right? So uh, he's carrying some type of... Some type of card. I, I don't know what that is either. Like an envelope, maybe. Um, hey, so hey, I like um, the headpiece there. He has a flower on it. Um, we'll zoom in for you a little bit so you can kind of see it better. Um, it has like a le uh, like a purple flower up, up in the ribbon of the hat. It's one of those top hats, and it does have a crossbone on it. Um, like so, emphasizing that he's he's not a good man, folks. He's not a good man. Um, they definitely lean off on that. Um, he has a brown head, he has a mustache, and it looks like he has a little bit of a curvature, like a, maybe a scar on his face. Or is it maybe two scars on his face? I, uh, um, his, his teeth he has a gap in between. So he has a gap between his feet, uh, his belly, um, his shirt is barely covering his stomach, so it kind of emphasizes that he is a little um, either... The fabric is very cheap, or that he has a stomach, and it, it kind of, I kind of saw a photo of him, because I tried to look up his name to try to get the better of the spelling. Um, didn't look like he was supposed to have a belly. It looked like he was a skinnier guy, um, so I, I don't know why they did that. You do see his belly button. He does have a, a red uh, belt, just like he has a red uh, lining around his cap. He is... Is, let me see here. His coat is a uh, a, a darker uh, form of brown and his, than his skin. So I do like that they can contrast between the two. Like you can tell that he is wearing a coat and then it doesn't light in with his skin color, which is fantastic. His uh, hands match... Um, the color of his body, which I also enjoy. Um, I love it when the characters um, do match up because then you can emphasize he is not wearing gloves. And then on the back side, he is not double-headed. But he has one of those old-timey uh, like, uh, coats, as you can see um, right there, emphasizing that it is buckled together. And that's, that's how you pull it tighter. And his pants match the same color. It's like he's wearing a big suit, so he's fancy. Um... And then he's got that weird grin on his face, like, ah, uh, do I trust him? Probably not. And I'm thinking this is not a wand. I'm thinking that is like a walking stick. You know, that's, that's his pimp cane, you know, because he's, he's stylish. Um, Disney 100, they do have the Disney 100 logo on the base plate, and I love that. Um, and then... Because I do not know the movie, and I can't really talk about, like, what is wrong with the character in that sense. Um, does he look like the character in that sense? I am going to leave that blank, because I have not seen it, so I can't give you, um, the audience, uh, I can't give you my opinion on that. So we're just going to leave that part alone, and we're going to ask, um, is he displayable? Yes. Is he, um, if you displayed him um, up there, would people recognize that he is um, from uh, Princess and the Frog? I can't tell you. He's like, I do not. I, I'm going to say 
an A because I haven't seen the movie. And that's and that's my bad on for me. Um, I'm sorry I can't, you know, like, this is going to be all on you. So the question is for you. Is he display like, can you recognize that he is from The Princess and the Frog? Please let me know in the comments below because I do not know um, whether or not they matched up perfectly. Um, and then would your kid want multiples of these? I think so. I mean, you could just change the hat out. You have just characters. It looks like you can you can you can just change out his headpiece, maybe. Um, then you can um, move his head on a different character. I was only saying that so then you don't have everyone looking the same. But you could have a couple characters looking like this. You know, you can, in a bar scene or any other type of you know in a tavern or because um, he has claw marks for his teeth. I'm more thinking dangerousy, right? You know, and and he's got the you know full on like suit type thing and you could put him on a pirate ship because of the hat you know it, you could do you can do a lot um so i'd say if you got a couple of these i don't think you'd be super disappointed if you're just going for minifigs but if you're going for getting a couple of these and you were really going for disney 100 i sure hope that you like this character um for me it's not one of the ones i was hoping for to get multiples of and so far i have not but that doesn't mean i still i think i'm four or four four characters short so i've still got to buy more um and i bought a, a big box we're gonna open one box together just to see um what we get in a six pack so we will show the whole video whether or not i got um all the characters before it's just to kind of emphasize what you do get in a six pack um yes he he's definitely displayable if you put him in a lineup um and especially if you've seen the movie um, it was easier with uh, Princess uh, Tiana because I knew like she's more recognizable if you put her in a lineup of other princesses. Then you can get and you could totally know who she is. But I don't know if you even put him in a lineup of other characters. If you haven't seen his movie, you probably don't know who his name is. Um, that's because he's just not, you know, out there enough. And I think he's a villain, so villains are even harder because they're not in it as much. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay collecting. Hi, thanks for watching that last video. If you're not a subscriber and you're thinking about it, it doesn't cost you anything. How about you hit that subscribe, that blue little button on the left side. And if you uh, want to watch the next one, how about you watch that next video up there? You know, it's, it's not going to bite. Go ahead and watch it. Come on. You know you want to.